Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Star's Train of Thoughts podcast, where we openly talk about stories and experiences about the random messes and realities of life. If you're looking for ways to equip yourself and basically survive this life, you're in the right place. I'm Star Incarnation, your host. Hello guys, and welcome back to another podcast episode. I just wanted to share with you guys what happened to me. Today is a Monday, October 26th, and I just wanted to share my experience because I just had my first ever consultation with a psychiatrist and I have been meaning to seek professional help for many many times now but I haven't really had the courage to do so yet last week I had multiple occurrences of some you know anxiety and bits of depression and it led me to having this tight muscles or physical pain all throughout my body and it really prompted me to finally seek professional help so i did i searched you know some stuff online and i found the, and i even asked for some recommendations from my friends i have this occupational therapist friend and i have this psychometrician friend both from church and they recommended me some um, hospitals or doctors or clinics and I decided to go with this one clinic here in Davao City and I just tried out booking an appointment through their Facebook page and they helped me to really you know go through the process of booking an appointment by answering some questions they really you know connected with me through text updating me and asking me about some some details about my life so here comes some this was happening last week around wednesday and last week i also decided to you know take my time away from my facebook and my instagram because i think that i needed some time off to really take care of myself and it's mostly social media detox but i i kept my twitter account because i wanted to still you know sometimes i just pour out my thoughts on twitter so that's why i just chose to detoxify away from facebook and instagram the earliest that they had booked me was today a monday and i was waiting since morning and they texted me that my schedule would be around two in the afternoon so i decided not to work as monday usually was a rest day for me but i actually decided yesterday that i'm gonna work today but since my session was scheduled on the afternoon i felt like it was gonna take my it's gonna take my time so i decided to take a rest day and just focus now on my you know preparing myself i think it's important to prepare yourself mentally before you know before the consultation with a psychiatrist and i really prayed I prayed and I prepared myself. I was kind of getting anxious and nervous as, you know, 2 o'clock approached. And I was doing my Devo before and I stopped. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to continue it later. So I'm just happy to finally know my diagnosis. And it's one of the major reasons why I wanted to seek professional help because I really want to know my, you know, the identification of my diagnosis because it would really help me to know what are the, you know, possible management options out there, what are the treatments. And this doctor that I spoke to, this this consultation was just made through call. We just talked around 25 to 30 minutes through phone but you ha- also have this choice to use Viber if you want it you know video call but I'm not comfortable so I went with a call 
and yeah we talked and it was my first time to talk to a professional about my issues and it was kind of difficult to stop yourself from crying and I was just so overwhelmed at the same time I was happy to share everything that I've been going through every little detail that I've been experiencing to someone who is a professional we talked a lot about you know the traumas that I had experienced when I was growing up with mostly with the family at the same time with you know the ex-boyfriend during high school where I already mentioned in my previous podcast episode about ex-boyfriends and this particular ex-boyfriend was a he was an abuser so I mentioned to my doctor that he physically and verbally abused me to the point that I was receiving death threats so having not you know healed from that having not processed that all throughout the years I think that also contributed to my diagnosis. So I won't go detail by detail of what we talked about and what are the things that he recommended and what are the personal issues that I have. But we ended up having this diagnosis. It was actually two diagnoses. The first one was that he told me I have mixed anxiety depression disorder. And the second one is that I have post-traumatic stress disorder. I was already, you know, leaning towards PTSD. I've been studying and learning about it for the past two weeks. And this is how I came about to decide to go to or to have a plant-based diet. Because I know that's going to be helpful for me in the long run. You know, avoiding highly refined sugar, ultra-processed food, or everything that's not natural. I want to remove myself from that because if you all, if for those who are close to me, they know that I'm really a fan of, you know, junk food and previously fast food and, you know, soft drinks and all those things. And we all know that it's not healthy. So I really decided that I want to, you know, clean everything up, not just for my mental health, but also for my physical body as well. Because it it can be something that is also triggering me from having anxiety and depression episodes. And I also mentioned to my doctor that I have this tight muscles and some neck and shoulder pain. And he mentioned something about physical pain, depression. So I think I'm going to go search about that. And it's common that there would be physical manifestations when it comes to mental and emotional health. And I'm still going to go with my physical therapy once or twice in one week. I had my physical therapy sessions twice last week, one in Tuesday and one in Thursday. I'm scheduled for another PT session this Thursday. And what amazes me, I I changed my physical therapist to a new one. And what amazes me is that this person is really good when it comes to holistically checking you out. He is able to handle you even if you have no complaints. But of course, we are human beings. We're moving all the time. We are bound to have complaints. But for this one, I'm actually very satisfied with his his services. You know, the place, how the ambience was making me feel relaxed, how it was super clean. Um, I was just amazed about this needling therapy and cupping therapy that he did to my back. So I'm just gonna go back since I'm still having neck and shoulder issues. And I was amazed with the acupuncture needle that he, you know, put through me. And I felt that my muscle was was hit or stimulated or something. It made me twitch and it was kind of relaxing. It was a good therapy session 
So yeah, that's actually just to update you guys or just sharing with you what I experienced through this session I had with this psychiatrist. This psychiatrist assigned to me was actually from Manila. He's here in Davos since March because of the lockdown. So I'm just happy that he was assigned to me. He was not... I wasn't expecting that kind of person to talk to me, but I felt safe talking to him. And I don't know what he looks like, and it's weird because, you know, there's no face-to-face interaction, but for me being an introvert and not really comfortable I'm sometimes not comfortable exposing myself my face when it comes to being vulnerable that's why when I share my vulnerabilities I mostly choose my podcast and my blog because nobody would see me because sometimes I get teary-eyed sometimes I would cry myself out Yeah, that's why I prefer talking to my doctor through the phone instead of video call. For this episode, I just wanted to share what happened to me recently. And it's been helping me to really step away from social media as much as I can. But I'm also trying to go back to studying Udemy courses and doing my Bible study. I can't continue because recently my since my shoulder and neck was in pain I really cannot write properly and when I study something I want to take notes so I just wanted to go back to it again and but I tried learning another course like two nights ago about managing anxiety with ease that's how I learned about the importance of you know, eating more plant-based food, like vegetables and fruits and, you know, hydrating yourself with water. And that's how I was encouraged to starting my plant-based diet. So last night, I just wanted to share share with you guys that I made my, I made a stir-fry veggies with, uh, I used tofu, red bell pepper, garlic, eggplant, and um, what was the other one? Did I say it right? Tofu, eggplant, red bell pepper, garlic. I think that was it. Yeah, I just mixed it all up. I stir fried it and with, I mean, I stir stir fried it in olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So I make sure that it's still healthy. And it was, uh, I also put a little bit of salt and a teaspoon of, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I was so amazed that it was so good. It tasted so much better than I expected. I also put a little bit butter to make the taste even better. Butter is better. (laughs) So yeah, I, I made that. It actually had a good three servings so I had one last night and I had one earlier today so I made it a point to pre-prepare my food so that I won't you know waste any more time cooking and preparing and it had three servings so I'll be eating the rest of the remaining ones for dinner tonight or maybe for a snack later and I also cooked this squid ink pasta and put tuna in it tuna spiced tuna and cheesy pesto sauce and it's so good it was a bit oily but you know when i i'm able to reheat it every time i eat uh, i can i can just remove some of the excess oil so i it's better than it's better than you know the regular oil i used extra virgin olive oil as i cook the pasta and the spiced tuna and the garlic so i'm not really closing myself with a plant-based food i i'm opening up to also eating little bits of fish and chicken not the skin but just the meat the 
lean meat and probably pork but the lean meat as well for beef i'm basically boycotting beef ever since i got the surgery because it gives me sorry to say but gives me diarrhea even if just you know eating like this beef taco or beef burrito i would end up you know running towards the comfort room to relieve myself so i just decided to stop eating beef even corned beef you know it's it starts with yourself eh? i wanted to make sure that i'm holistically okay not just physical not just mental not just emotional but of course spiritual i'm continuing my you know i'm continuing everything that i can with my faith like my bible study my devotional my personal time with god my prayer time and surprisingly when i mentioned meditation to my psychiatrist and the effect of meditation for me was something negative because i end up you know imagining things and overthinking and over worrying and it, it actually ends me up with an anxiety so he told me not to 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 do that and i haven't gotten to a place where i try to meditate without you know thinking without thinking about something you know just blank in a blank state since my psychiatrist told me to stop meditating for a while i'm going to stop it so i'm just going to focus now on my healing process this is the beginning of my healing process i'm just going to start step by step and just take my time with it i'm just so glad that right now i have my diagnosis i'm fully diagnosed i'm not proud to to have this but it's not my identification as a person but mentally this is what i have so i'm just going to try to deal with it on my own and manage it as much as i can at the same time when i'm slowly getting better i'm able to talk about it to other people and even try to post a blog about it so that maybe someone would be able to read it and help that person in some way so yeah that's just what i wanted to share with you guys about what i experienced earlier so after the session i basically tried to look for you know support groups available here in the philippines and i found a lot in facebook so i'm hoping to you know to join some of these groups to to you know to also help me to process a lot of things and it really would help to know that you are not alone So So that's it. That's my psychiatric consultation story. Thank you for listening. Bye.